The last mile normally describes the local part of a longer journey. In the parcels network, it's from the warehouse or the hub to your premises. But when it comes to getting to the rail network, we mostly need to walk, cycle, get a bus or drive to the nearest station. And we go from Arrow Park, where we get a bus, and buses in this direction go towards Wallasey, in Leeso, New Brighton, West Kirby, and we're going to Leeso Station today, where the bus will drop us right by the level crossing, and on the platform there's a great big poster that says, the new trains are coming. And that's true, because here's one now. The train takes us on the Wirral Line across the river into Liverpool Central and from there we get a train on the Northern Line out to Ormskirk and later we're going to Kirby. I do like to film with a nice background but I also try not to look too silly but I'm testing the stereo mics so I can imagine what your comments will be when you see this but I'd rather you were listening to see what it sounded like. Uh, I've actually spoken to you from this spot before. Um, you may remember there was a hairdresser's just across the road, it's still there it's closed it was last time it's called brian's and if i'm going to get my hair cut anywhere i thought maybe it should be here Ugh, i suppose i can't wait much longer i really should try and get that, something done with this this mop <laughs> well today i'm going to talk about uh, stations new stations in our region particularly mersey rail stations and we've already covered a few years ago mcgull north which appeared um, while I wasn't looking. Uh, so I've been looking out for Kirby, Headbolt Lane, which is a new station opening this year, and I've been out to see how that's getting on. At the moment, you travel on the train to the old Kirby station, and you can just see the tracks um, heading off towards the new station. Now, they were taken up for a while, but that's all been done now, and what's going to happen is there's going to be no electrification at Kirby going forward to Headbolt Lane, and the trains are going to switch over to battery power. And we've got the batteries charged up in our drone as we fly along the route between the old Kirby station and the new Kirby station at Headbolt Lane. It crosses over the main A506 County Road and as you do that you can see the station site just ahead on the left. If we go back to the CGI, which I showed you about 18 months ago, you will see there's no through tracks from the Mersey rail lines coming in to the Northern rail lines going out the other side towards Wigan. I can't verify the details on that, but if we, again, referring to the CGI, look at the aerial view and compare it with my own aerial views, you can see there's still quite a bit to do, but they have actually got a long way, and they reckon they're still on target to get this station open this year. Neither of the Kirby stations are anywhere near the town centre, so they're obviously designed to cater for the housing estates as it passes through quite a few different estates and across Millbrook Millennium Green. Time to head back to the Wirral. 
Just in case you've not seen enough views of the Everton ground being built, there's another one behind me. I'm by Wallasey Town Hall and looking back across the river. I've got the stereo mics on but only one of them and if I press the right button I'll be on your left and right channels and if I haven't well <laughs> I'll just be leaning one way. Let's go back to the scene in Ormskirk Parish Church before the reason for the stereo mics being where they are and that was that we have our ears at a certain distance apart so for the stereo sound to sound as good when you take it home the microphones have to be the same sort of distance apart and it appeared to work as before I went home on the Ormskirk and Kirby trip day I stopped off at, Stan <laughs> I stopped off at Sandhills and I took a, another shot from there and then recorded some train noises and they were in stereo I was wearing the two microphones on my shirt as you saw earlier and I thought when I got the recordings home they sounded very realistic and with my stereo headphones on they sounded more or less like they did when I was actually there. Well that's all I've got, a bit of stereo train noises for you. See you next time. <laughs>